you Eurovision Fools, Matt is United, it's your favorite Eurovision channel. Welcome back to yet another Junior Eurovision 2020 video where I react to the songs that are in the running and share my first honest raw impression. I have not listened to the songs yet, more to come, so make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos if you were interested. If not, then toodaloo. But anyway, the next country on my list is Ukraine, the country that has had an amazing track record at the adult version, winning twice, never failed to qualify from the semis, and they have, from what I can see, a pretty darn good record at junior as well. I've only been following junior. This is the third year I'm watching it. So, um, bear with me, I don't know all of the history on that one. But the song, this time around, I love this song last year. Um, it is Vitkriai, oh mine, uh, Open Up, I guess, and the name of the singer, Alexander Balab Balabanov. So, I will master the names and titles soon enough, but this is the first time I'm reading it. So, um, cause I don't want to, didn't want to look it up up front. Anyway, I'm going to grab, I'm grabbing my headphones right here right now. And, uh, let's get this thing started. Let's talk Eurovision. When you're given something, Okay, that was throw me off because he had that very high voice and you see girl, I'm like, Alexander is a, a girl. But now they threw us to a loop here. Oh. Not what I expected. You know, this is a lot more, um... Not what I expected at all. This is very, like, soulful and, like, jazzy-ish. He has a good voice. I'm worried because he's at that age where his voice may break soon. Hopefully he'll be able to sing like that live. <laughs> Just one more month. Hold on. Hold on. This is not Junior Eurovision Friendly Ride. This sounds so adult music-ish. Like, it's like... <sighs> Oh, my. Now, once again, this, could, he could rock that stage um, live, man. But certainly, Ukraine refuses to be put in a box, even at Eurovision. I think this is a dark horse a little bit, isn't it? I got it. Well, this is my kind of music. Huh. Wow, this is was over quick. Wow. So, 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 what are my thoughts on this one? Now, it's, as I said, not y y Junior Year Vision, right? When you hear this, do you think, oh, that's a Junior Year Vision song? And some people are saying, well, Mel, there is no such thing as music for Junior Vision. To me, there is, because there's a reason why that's separated from the adult version. <laughs> so this is not what I expected to hear. His voice, by the way, totally, totally suits the style, right? And the genre. So that was a great match there. I want to see his work actually in 10 years when he has a little bit more experience and as an artist and grow because I think he could go really far seem like one day even at the adult version and um, this actually I'm not even though it doesn't necessarily pop out as a favorite right it's certainly not I'm not ignoring this one I'm fully aware that this could actually surprise quite a bit on the night I could see some jury support there as well and it has so much black potential because this is not a in-your-face song in the studio version. It's pleasant, it's nice, but live with great vocals and camera work and a good vibe. I I am not too um, pessimistic, let's use that word. Now, it may not be suited for the contest. Just look at the bats, things, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if Junior Vision kids in particular will get it i think this song will heavily rely on jury support so that is a big down end to me and this is just me you can disagree with that and that's not what you're looking for but when it comes to junior eurovision i tend to gravitate towards childlike music 
in that sense that I want kids to sing more music that is appropriate for them, whether it's singing about best friends or parents or that kind of stuff. That doesn't mean children don't have problems because they do. And it's you think about the loss of a parent that can be very touching, right? And that kind of stuff. This song, I don't know what he was really singing about in, in heartbeat. So um, I can't really, and it's difficult for me to say, yeah, this is a junior Eurovision song for me. And that is probably the biggest disconnect I have here. But um, that only counts for so much because at some point, you know, I will just, accept, you know, have to get over that, I guess. But those are just my thoughts. I still think it's a good song. It's just, I think I have to listen to it again. And I need to see the live performance to get really, really into it. Those are my thoughts. How do you feel about it? Leave your thoughts below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Good luck to Ukraine. Good luck to all of the participants. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye now.